You must be the stranger I've been hearing about. Sorry, but I'm strictly forbidden from offering our tech to outsiders like yourself. Besides, I'm a little busy right now. Sorry, outsider, but I'm not allowed to sell you anything without the Elder say so. Besides, I'm a little busy right now. Yeah? It's our virtual reality training hall. We don't really go out all that often anymore, so this is how we stay sharp. Yeah, a lot more. Back when we were at the Helio station. Oh, crap. I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to talk about that, especially with outsiders. So forget you just heard that, okay? Head scribe Taggart quickly realized my extraordinary talent when I took the mandatory VR combat testing. Soon after that, he requested that I get transferred to VR specialist training, serving as his assistant. I miss hanging out with the other students all the time, but at least I get to skip all those boring lectures. Well, like just about everyone else here, I grew up in the Brotherhood. My father was a scribe and my mother a paladin. They both died at Helios 1. The others were always like a family to me before that, but afterward they became my family in truth. I don't know, I'm a little like both of them, I guess. If I had to choose, I really don't know which I'd pick. That's a question I've been asked a lot lately, since it's something I have to decide for myself soon. I'm currently an apprentice in the Brotherhood, and recently became eligible for journeyman status. But first, I have to decide which order I want to join. The Knights or the Scribes? Knights are in charge of all of our equipment. Power armor, Gatling lasers, you name it. All of it built and maintained by Knights. Knights also get to go out on patrols, scouting assignments, and support the Paladins in offensive operations. Being a Knight would mean getting to see more of the world. Fight the Brotherhood's enemies, and possibly someday become a paladin like my mother. I'm currently an apprentice in the Brotherhood, and recently became eligible for journeyman status. But first, The scribes are responsible for discovering how all the old tech we recover actually works, and sometimes even work on inventing new things. Without them, the Brotherhood could never fulfill its mission. Or at least that's what my dad always used to say. Bye. Sorry, but I'm a little busy here, if you'll excuse me.
Look, this isn't a great time. Oh, what the hell? It's not like we're making any progress. I'm Ibsen, and I hope your day is going better than mine is. Yeah, I'm in charge of keeping this data system up and running, but accessing it is a little, uh, touch and go at the moment. One of our exploratory patrols, back when we had exploratory patrols, found a data disk in some ruins out in the waste. Well, we finally got around to cataloging the damn thing and got shut out of our own data store the second it loaded. Turns out it had a virus on it. Oh, there are patrols. Just not exploratory ones. We've been in a state of lockdown for... Well, let's just say it's been a while. The only time anyone gets to go topside is guard duty, or to gather provisions. Other than that, it's steel walls and fluorescent lights for us. That's not really for me to say. It's a bit of a touchy subject. You should probably forget I mentioned it. Yeah, some pre-war jackass with too much time on his hands apparently decided to inflict his misery on those around him. It's scrambling all the terminals here at the moment. Luckily, we only use this section for storing historical data. I suppose it couldn't hurt to get another pair of eyes on this. Maybe you'll be able to come up with something coming at it fresh. While the entire system is infected, the virus itself is spread across three terminals. The problem is that it keeps moving periodically. We'll have it nailed down in a terminal or two, only to have it jump to another set of terminals before we locate the third. What? No, that... that's brilliant! It would let us seal a portion of the virus to a particular terminal, even when the other parts move. You'll need to locate it on three different terminals in this area in one minute. Any longer and it'll jump, and you'll have to start all over. Locating the virus would probably be nearly impossible, but the pompous little bastard that wrote it made things a little easier for us. Normally, terminals infected by the virus just display gibberish, but we found that terminals the virus moved to had some real data passed to them. We were able to decrypt the data and discovered that it was just messages from the virus's writer taunting his victims. When you find terminals with those messages, lock them down and move on. Find three of them before the virus jumps, and we'll wipe the damn thing. Best of luck to you. I'll tell the others to take a break so they don't get in your way. Oh, and I'll keep track of when it jumps for you. To maximize your chances, wait for my signal before you begin. Don't work too hard there, Ibsen. Yes, yes. The bunker takes a little getting used to, doesn't it? The virus just jumped. Find which terminals it went to. You're being watched, so don't get it. Any ideas? We got it. The virus has been purged. You actually did it? If you don't mind my saying so, I didn't think you had a chance in hell of pulling it off. But I'm glad to be wrong for once. Thank you, my friend. Please feel free to access the data store at your leisure. I'm only allowed to give you access to non-classified topics, but it's better than nothing, right? Oh, all kinds of things. There was already information regarding the layout and systems of this bunker, but we've since added our own data as well. Prior to the lockdown, we had extensively scouted the surrounding area and compiled dossiers on nearby points of interest. Well, you'd have to get a senior level member of the chapter to unlock a topic for you. I've given you access to what I can, but that's not much. The majority of topics fall under Ramos's aegis, since they'd constitute a security risk. Good luck getting anything out of him. You might have better luck with another member of the senior staff. Try talking to them about it. Bye. <laughs>